Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys are all doing really well and having an awesome weekend. This is going up on Saturday, so it is now the weekend. Yay, we made it. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are back in the Decades Challenge. I know that last week we only had one episode. I'm really sorry about that, so I'm hoping that the second episode this week will make it up to you guys. If you ever are curious about when I upload, I do post a schedule every Sunday on the community tab on my YouTube. YouTube page so definitely go ahead and check that out if you guys are ever wondering when I will post and I also recently just got an Instagram so if you guys want to go ahead and follow me over on Instagram it is just under for the love of sims and I do share some behind the scenes stuff there I plan on doing Instagram lives that way we can actually talk and communicate more so I'm really excited and I hope to see you guys there that way we can connect some more so with all that being said you guys we're gonna go ahead we're gonna jump into our decade series Series. We're hanging out with Edward and Theo, so let's go find out what kind of trouble these two can get into. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are actually right back at the old place where Edward and Theo used to live when they first moved to Hollywood. However, you can see their house is completely empty and it's because they were able to secure the same place that they were living before the stock market crashed. However, they have no belongings. They have nothing. They have no money. I, do, I did give them $5,000 just to start with because I am going to have to buy them some beds and a few little things like a shower and a fridge. But other than that, they're starting from scratch. They're, I was thinking it'd be kind of cool because if you guys remember in the first episode when they moved here I'll link it above if you haven't seen it but in that video I was explaining how architecture was either really art deco or Spanish colonial style and so I still loved the structure of this house but I also wanted to put some of our more art deco -y themed things that I have downloaded as they get better at doing their um, their careers and they start getting back into the movie industry so I really think it would be cool to kind of start from scratch with them I don't see this being their forever home if I'm being honest because they're gonna be huge celebrities so I'm not sure how much of this house we're gonna completely renovate or if we're just gonna have their bare necessities here and then as they become big stars maybe they'll be moving to a really cool huge like art deco tower on like the top floor I am so excited for that I think it'd be really cool you know they have Frank Sinatra they have Frank Fred Astaire visiting them. They're doing singing, they're doing dancing, and now they're living in this huge high rise at the top floor, living their best lives as one of the most famous actors in the world. So can we get them there? Let's try. <laughs> so Edward and Theo recently had spent some time with their sister in Willow Creek, helping each other out, helping her the family out, and they lost everything. So everyone kind of came together for that week because part of the challenge rules, everyone has to to lose their jobs they all have to be broke power has to be shut off yada 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 so they've been there they've done that they've done their scavenging they've met met their requirements for the challenge rules so now we can get on with the show <laughs> so Edward and Theo have had a little bit of a time away I think it'd be kind of fun to go ahead and check in to jump into creative sim quickly and give them a little bit of a freshening up that way when they're returning to the scene that they can kind of be eye-catching for their gigs plus I just really want a closer look at these kitty boys so the main person that I want to change their first look is uh, this little cutie because as handsome as he is I just feel like this shirt's pretty tight and I just didn't like the way it looks oh my gosh you guys I know this isn't medieval series by the way I I swore to myself I would never buy the Star Wars pack. No offense if you like it, it just wasn't for me and I just wasn't really interested in it. But when I was looking at the build buy and the clothing options recently, I was like, oh my gosh, how much of this stuff would be perfect for our medieval series? So I got the medieval, I got the Star Wars pack for the medieval outfits specifically and some of the build buy stuff that I think will really work for us. And I also got the Snow Escape. So I'm so excited because in BitLife we're going on vacation and I'm very excited about that. But we're in decades right now and Theo needs a new look. So I'm going to go ahead you guys and I am going to give these two a little bit of a freshening up, a spruce in and I will be right the back okay so I didn't do anything with Edward because in my opinion Edward is perfect and I might be a little bit biased I know you guys love Theo but I just 
my heart is for Edward. But I was imagining Theo as this. I feel like he is a pretty boy and I just really love the fact that he is all about uh, looking good. So I really wanted that to translate in his outfits. So I got him, this is his new everyday look. But I gave him two different looks. So like this is his like, I'm walking around town. I'm really hoping that either girls or agents will notice me look. Oh, so fabulous. I'm like, why doesn't this guy have a hat? And then this is his like more chill, like I'm just relaxing, but still want to look good look. This is his new formal look. Ooh, so handsome. And then I gave him a robe for his sleepwear because I thought that he would probably be more of a robe guy. And this is his party look. I think that's all I changed, really. And I gave him a hat for his cold weather look, but that's pretty much it, you guys. His hat clips a little, so we'll see how bad it is in the game. But yeah, he's pretty super cute, if you ask me. I'm in love. <laughs> so there you go, guys. There's Theo's new I'm back. Notice me. I'm going to be famous look. So let's go ahead and jump back into the game and get these guys some beds. Okay, so today is Winterfest, so we don't have to really worry about um, anything coming up today. But I am going to go ahead and before we do anything, we're going to re-register them for their careers. Uh, that way uh, they'll hopefully be able to get on the whole getting a gig and stuff like that. So I'm going to get them to become uh, registered for gigs again. So before we were with AI staffing, so maybe because they laid us off, they're not interested in working with us anymore. So I think that we'll go with the Everyday Extras Talent Agency. Our team has put faces into every wide angle crowd shot this town has ever filmed. <laughs> we will find you work no matter how small the role. <laughs> I think it's perfect for these guys. Okay, so we've got the Void Bop, Recommended Skill, <laughs> Fitness Level 2, Vladislaw's, Vladislaw's Hardware, Making Music, and Salty Spuds. We've already done the Salty Spuds, you guys, so I guess maybe I'll get um, Theo to do the Void Bop. And last time, I'm pretty sure we had... Edward, we went to work with Theo, so this time we'll go to work with Edward. So their audition is uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. and they need fitness level two. So how are they on their fitness? <laughs> Edward's uh, not great. How is, um, they both need to work on their fitness. Okay, so after we get them some beds, I'll send them on a jog. Now, while I'm getting them some beds, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. They actually ran into, if you remember, they ran into the beautiful Anna. She was walking past their house. So in my mind, Anna probably was swinging around town and she ran into the guys and she was like, you guys have to come back to work. You have to come back to the city. We've got so much work for you. And she is hoping that they'll be able to get involved in a movie project with her. Um, so she's like, you know, I ran into you guys last time and I just, you know, they were looking for extras and I thought of you. I thought maybe you were down on your luck and, you know, I really wanted to help you out. And they're like, wow, that's like really thoughtful of her. But in my mind, she's like the type of girl who maybe really likes to be the person to know. So she's like doing them a favor, but really she's doing it for herself. Like she's like, yeah, that's right. I'm such a great person. I do all these things for everybody. <laughs> Oh, so bad. Okay, so hopefully they'll make enough money for a stove because right now these guys are going to be eating quick meals like pudding and yogurt. So let's go ahead and send them on a jog. So look, they both go their separate ways. And as you can see here, Theo is like, oh, don't mind me. I'm uh, just going to run past Anna's place here. She does live in this house, which is very close. So I think, or maybe she lives here. I can't remember. She lives in one of them. But I think that um, Ed, uh, Theo is hoping, uh, hoping, hoping to run into her. He's almost there. So I just have to send him for one more jog. Go push the limits. And where are you, Theo? Theo's like, I'm tired. Well, Theo, you always want to look your best. So go for a jog. Thank you. Oh, good. So Edward has reached level three. 
So I think the guys are both really grateful that Anna um, asked them to come back and that they, you know, that she was thinking of them for work opportunities. Edward's like super excited to finally start getting back to work. You know, I think he was going a little bit stir crazy, not doing what he loves. And Theo is like, oh my gosh, Anna's been thinking about me. I knew it. She's gorgeous. So I think once these guys are done showering, they're going to head over to Anna with a little thank you gift. What could we get her that they have money for? So maybe we'll get her a daisy. <laughs> uh, and I don't think that they would want to invite her over because of the fact that um, they might be a little embarrassed about the fact that they really don't have any money right now and they're trying to paint an image of like these famous movie stars and the house looks ridiculous with the extensions I've made but I have no money to fix it right now so we will work on that as time goes. But yeah, they don't want to give off like an, a, a, a bad impression, so they're not going to share with her that they aren't super wealthy. But let's go ahead and get them to travel over to Anna's and uh, give her her little thank you gift. So they both arrived over here and as you can see Theo has made sure to dress up and make sure he looks really great and Edward's like Ugh, why are we here and Theo's like you know bro you really don't have to be here right now I can definitely uh, talk to Anna and thank her for us like you I would hate for you to put you out you know you just go back and, and take and Edward's like settle down Theo maybe we shouldn't uh, be worrying about Anna's bedroom right now and maybe be more worried about the fact that she's offering us work you know if there's any bridge not to burn okay so they're hugging it out he's like just you know settle down a bit so fortunately we have Edward here so he is able to kind of keep Theo on a leash because Theo needs it <laughs> I don't know how well the leash will work but for now it is working now I have been currently on the process of um, renovating Anna's place. How cute is this? So this is some of the so much stuff. I don't know why the lamps just all of a sudden went on the floor. They were on the end tables. But anyways, um, this is just some of the really cool Art Deco 1930s um, furniture and build by objects that I've got. So like look how cool this art is. It just totally captures the vibe that I'm looking for. The rest of her house is not even remotely done, so just ignore that. But where is Anna? So Anna is like, let's go to, let's, should we retire to the, to the balcony? Oh, she chose to sit beside Edward. Ooh, ooh. So if you don't remember, let me reintroduce you. The beautiful, the mysterious, the mystical, the beautiful Anna. She is the most beautiful sim I've ever seen. Oh, so she's hugging him. This is interesting. So who is she wanting to talk to first? Chat with Anna. That's so cute. So I'm going to have Theo be super flirtatious and aw, Edward's singing to her. So he's going to be like, so, you know, we just wanted to come over and thank you for getting us these jobs. We just finished our move. We just got back to town. And she's like, oh, that's so great. It's so nice to see you guys. I hope you're ready for work. And he's like, oh, I am always ready for work. <gasps> she's like, that's nice. But anyways, so um, he was trying to like butter her up and start the whole flirtatious thing. And she just walked away. Meanwhile, Edward's like, this is a great place. This is where I would like to see myself. Not necessarily in Anna's house but you know more like in this type of setting than his current situation and he made himself some pancakes and he actually did a really great job and she doesn't seem to mind so that's good so she shrugged off uh, Theo so maybe Edward will have some better luck I'm gonna have him come over and I think discuss work is good oh she's definitely not much of a cook she she is not a super famous actress yet. She is definitely wanting to be. So they're, oh, look at Theo. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys can't be alone together. What's going on here? Um, but anyway, so she's still working her way up in the movie business. So they're all kind of relatively in the same boat. She does have a little bit more money. Ooh, look, let's perform romance scene, scenes for tips. So Theo is like, oh, you're so amazing. Let me uh, get some help 
learning all your romance tips. I've seen the work you've done, you know, look, can I practice with you? That would be a really good line. Like if, if you guys were actors, oh, I, I just want to learn from you. <laughs> so he's pulling that card to romance her. Oh, they're so cute. He really likes her. And Edward's watching like, oh my god, typical Theo. He just chuckles to himself. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> oh, my camera went off. So he got to kiss her at least. <laughs> so that made him very flirty. Smooth delivery. Those, The way those lines were delivered. That deep stare. Swoon. And he also is happy from making a new friend. Can really cheer a sim up. So now that he has her in a romantic mood, he's going to flirt with her. And the, uh, Edward's going to be like, I think uh, I might head out. You guys seem to really be enjoying yourselves. And she's like, what do you mean? Why would you leave? And he's like, well, I would hate to interrupt. She's like, oh, you're interrupting nothing. Please sit. So he's like, okay, I'll come sit. So Anna is definitely the type of woman who likes to have men's attention as a whole, not just one in particular. So I think the fact that Edward is kind of like, oh, let me leave you guys. She's like, oh, no, no, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. We would like you to stay too. So I think Anna has asked them to come back to kind of boost her own image, you know, having these two really handsome guys on her hands, you know. Yeah, so we've learned she self-absorbs, exactly. So this is definitely coming from a place of um, maybe her own interests, not so much about the guys, but I don't think that they really care, especially Theo. I think Theo is like, okay, cool, whatever. You use me, I use you. You're pretty, I'm pretty. I don't see what the problem is here. This is what makes us a great team. And Edward's like, okay, well, I'm going to go. So the guys are really happy that she was able to get them a job. So I think we'll let Theo give her the gift just because um, we'll get him to give her a romantic gift. There we go. So he's got the daisy. So he's like, well, we just wanted to stop by and give you a thank you for, you know, looking out for us and giving us an opportunity. And I thought that maybe you would like this. So she's like, oh, it's great. Did she actually like it? Yes, she did. Okay, good. So romantic generosity, giving the perfect romantic gift can only mean romance for both parties involved. So now they have a little bit of a romance bar. How cute. So I'm going to go, oh, she's giving him a rose, little cuties. I do think that in, look at Edward, he has absolutely no interest in this. He's just like, whatever, you guys do whatever you want. I'm going to take a nap here. <laughs> Um, Anna gave Theo a gift with a sweet message attached. I love the joy that you bring to my life every waking moment of every day. Okay, so she is an actress. She may be a little bit of a drama queen. Like, chill, we just met. Now you want to be with me every day? I feel like that would scare Theo because Theo's not about commitment. Theo was about, you know, networking and getting his face plastered to as many places as possible and also um, just in having a good time, you know? He's not as self-absorbed as she is enough to have a self-absorbed trait, but he's definitely borderline self-absorbed. But having such a big family would make it kind of hard to be self-absorbed in general because you just naturally are more thoughtful because you have so many family members, right? So anyways, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to send these guys home. They're just getting ready. They're both feeling super inspired. So I'm really happy about that. Theo is a little bit annoyed about the fact that there's trash. But they're, uh, maybe if he mops it, it'll make him feel better because he really loves cleaning. And I'm going to put the food in their fridge so it don't go bad. All right, so they're about to go off to their auditions here, you guys. Zachary Kirkpatrick. I heard you became friends with Anna. Anna, she's very cool. Yeah, we know. She probably, a lot of guys know, <laughs> probably know. Alice's birthday bash, that's an old holiday. Don't panic. Alice is not about to die, y'all. Of course. Audition pass. Well done, Edward. The role of the void Pritter Vulps is yours. We noted that you do really well when the outfit hides your face. Aww. Oh, we will look for more auditions with full head costumes. Thank you. And Theo also passed his audition, probably at just barely. So what does it say here for their audition or for their gig? 
So they need to develop their fitness skill and their charisma skill. And we can also call over the director and stuff like that. So I think we're going to go to the park. So that way they can do the fitness. And we're going to invite Anna with us. Which, <laughs> if you ask me, I don't particularly think that that is her scene. <laughs> you want me to go where? Where there's bugs. And you want me to do what? Sure, no problem. <laughs> All righty. So we have come to the park. Oh, we left Theo at home, Edward at home. Bring you here. So she's like, oh, I'm so glad you guys invited me. He's like, well, I got the gig. I wanted to thank you. If it weren't for us being able to practice my lines and everything, I probably never would have got the job. So I just wanted to say thank you. And so Anna's, Anna's like, oh, I, of course it was my fault that you got the job. Thank you for noticing. Oh, it's really no big deal. Deal, but you're welcome <laughs> and in the meantime we will get Edward to come over and just start practice punching okay so he's flat okay good so he's got both checked off and so does Theo so I think that they both have it pretty good so I think the three of them have decided that it would be really fun to go on a night on the town they really liked especially Theo and Anna their thing is getting seen so they're definitely like oh we should totally like go to a club and like you know a really hot spot in town where we know what people will find us will see us um, that would really help us get our fame up so I think that Theo is going to go ahead and ask little Anna out on a date and be like oh it's just you know for you know for people to see us you know oh new up-and-coming star out on a date I think it would look really great in the papers you know it'd be really great for both of our names we should definitely go out together and of course Anna's like oh yeah you're right that would make me look really good the fact that it's like charity almost I'm willing to go on a date with someone that's a no name great idea <laughs> that's so bad isn't it Okay, so the two of them have just shown up here. At, they are at a nightclub, and they are both looking super cute. I mean, come on. Like, this is just... Oh, I love Lady Sweet Tarts. Oh my gosh, I swear Nellie is so desperate to go back to the performing life. She's like, oh, don't mind me. I'm just here to perform. The upstairs I did over a little bit so it would look a little bit more time appropriate for the 1930s but I kept the dance floor and then I put like this cute little sitting nook for them here and, and then I have the little music player so I am gonna have them come up here together and I'm gonna get them to first off order some drinks for the group uh, I think he is going to get a uh, granite falls grapple like a chardonnay oh my gosh Nelly She's like, this is where I belong. There we go. So he's gotten her a drink and they're out here together. He's like, this is perfect. Nobody will, everyone will think that we're out here for real. And you know that we're gonna, you know, that we're really interested in each other. And it'll make a lot of people very interested in us. And she's like, I agree. This was genius. I couldn't agree more. I love how, um... Let's go have them dance together. I love how um, Nellie always shows up with some of her girls. Like, she's always at all these clubs with all of her girls. Um, I have a feeling that maybe these two haven't stayed as hidden as we would like to admit. Because I do find it oddly strange that she is again at a club with one of her old friends. Very, very interesting. But anyways, in the meantime... So they've decided to sit over here by candlelight to enjoy their drink together. It looks like they are really enjoying each other's company. Oh, so there's other stars here. So that's cool. So they're like, oh, why aren't they taking pictures of us? And Anna's like, oh, we got to do something big. And they both come out onto the dance floor. So he's like, let's show them what we've got. So they're having a dance battle. Could you imagine a dance battle in the 1930s to like really slow cool jazz music like I wonder how that would even look he's like let me see what you've got so it doesn't look like any of the photographers have shown any interest and she's a little bit more famous this than he is but not by much so they're both really desperate to get people's attention he's like let's uh maybe let's perform a romance scene he says in the dance floor maybe people will notice us if we start performing 
she's like, okay, we can try. So they're gonna try to show off some of their acting skills together again. He's like, everyone, come around! Watch us perform! Nobody even cares. Not even a single soul. His sister's there rooting him on. Nelly's always showing up with her friends. Ooh, Petunia. This is very awkward. I wonder if she's... I think he just really enjoys kissing her, so any excuse he gets to kiss her, he's like, yeah, let's perform the romance scene. <laughs> Cuties. Oh, so we kissed our date. We're bowing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're, <laughs> we're amazing. Again, nobody cares. It doesn't seem like Petunia is super jealous. I think she expects that from him. Um, but for actual romance and dates, we could have them maybe hold hands. And maybe he can try to do a little bit of getting to know her. Ooh, she got mad. I heard, oh yeah, she's mad. Petunia got mad. And like I said, he's definitely trying to sell it as, uh, you know, oh, I'm just, uh, we just want to get people to notice. But really, I think that Theo kind of has a little bit of a crush on her. Like, I mean, how could you not? She's beautiful, right? So he's giving her a hug, little cuties. It wasn't the most successful. I think it's not the most successful because their goal was to get seen and they definitely did not get seen today by any of the photographers, any of the paparazzi. And I think they're both a little sad about that because that was the the main goal. Not in, a, not in Theo's mind though. How is he feeling about her? Does he have any? So they've got lovebirds and look, coworkers. Oh, I just love them. Anyways, he's gonna go home because he has a job to do tomorrow and he wants to make sure he does good. So he's just got home. It looks like Edward has been working on his fitness. He's like, oh, once again, you are late. And Theo's like, ugh, why do you, you're such a babysitter. Like, go, like, get a life, dude. Like, you need to get a girlfriend. Like, God. So I'm gonna send them both to sleep. Poor Edward still staying, his, spending his evenings home alone while Theo is running out of bound town with who knows what woman. Who knows? Maybe we can convince uh, Lady Sweetheart to make us a really beautiful country girl for Edward. I just, I don't know. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> so everyone's going to go to sleep in preparation for their audition tomorrow. So it's the next morning. The guys have just finished getting all of their needs together. And they both have already reached their goals that they need to for their prep tasks. Edward's going to be like, so how'd things go with the date? And Theo's going to be like, yeah, it was fine. We didn't get the attention we wanted. He's like... What do you mean? He's like, well, the whole point of the date, bro, was to, you know, hopefully catch the eye of some paparazzi and have them show some interest in us. And I think Edward's going to be like, well, what about Anna? Like, what about Anna? Don't, aren't you? He'll, we'll get him to ask about another sim. So he's going to say, didn't you go on a date with her because you like her? Oh, I am so in love with Anna. So he's like, ah, so you're in love with Anna. He's like, so does she love you? And he's like, I don't know really how she feels. I think that she's just happy to date a, a handsome guy and, you know, try to get her name out there, which I understand. That's what I want too. But I think I might actually really like her. And he's like, oh, that's a little dangerous. He's like, it is. He's like, yeah. He's like, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll have to back off a little. And he's like, why back off? You like her. Go for it. And he's like, oh, you know, it's too early in my career to be settled down. I can't be, you know, getting too close to women. And so Edward's like, I'll never understand you, Theo. You have, like, this great girl who you seem to really like. And you're like, ah, I better not see her again after you confess that you're in love with her. That makes no sense. Um, so Theo's like, you'd never understand. But secretly, I think Theo's heart is just completely exploding for beautiful Anna. I'm actually really shocked that he said I'm so in love already. But like, Theo doesn't have that big of a love bar with Anna for him to be saying I am so in love. So that goes to show that he's got some pretty strong feelings pretty early on that I think he might be trying to bury. <laughs> Okay, so it's time to join Edward. Oh my goodness, what kind of commercial did we sign up for? <laughs> oh, you poor thing, Edward. It's funny, the hair and makeup girl made him look kind of like what he probably would look like if I didn't use so much CC on him. He's so cute. I love Edward. Oh my gosh, what was the point of hair and makeup if that's our costume? 
Have you guys ever seen like pictures of like OG Disney costumes like when the park first opened or like even on old movies or like old Halloween costumes? They were so scary looking. They were so ugly. They were so bad. They're actually some of them are very horrifying. Uh, and so it's kind of funny that he's wearing like this over this over the top costume because Back then, like if you were Godzilla or Frankenstein or some form of monster in an old classic film, it didn't look very real and it was very, um, the, the costumes would be very awkward. Obviously, some of them got better over the time and certain movies were obviously better than others, but it was very obvious when something was fake or like really awkward. So I love that he's in this big weird costume because it's just so Maybe the colors not so much, but it's just so appropriate for the time, you know? Oh my god, an awkward kids commercial. Oh, you poor thing. Maybe he got enlisted to do the ad for Walt Disney. He's doing good. Okay, perform the singing scene. Oh, I don't think he... I'm going to do safe singing because I don't think he has any singing skill at all. He's so cute in his little outfit. <laughs> He's actually not that bad of a singer. Wait, we got a gold. Woohoo! Look at him killing it. Great job, Edward. You are a star. A star, baby. Oh, he is like, what is my life even? The lights are shut out. His head is down. Oh, ooh, but he's gonna go get some pizza. You go get that pizza. You earned it. Okay, so we earned $475. I am very happy with that. That is a good amount of money. Thank you, Edward. We can probably get a few more things, it's like a typewriter for the house now. Oh, this is really good, you guys. We've been promoted to background actor. This is exciting. New additions have been made available. Wow. The studio sent over positive. Oh my gosh. There's too much happening. How did he get a star and we didn't? Okay. Wow. The studio sent over positive feedback on your performance in that commercial. We're not quite sure how to handle this. Typically, we send back one of our canned excuses for a bad performance and then rotate in, in another extra. Good job. Don't, just don't go thinking you need a raise. <laughs> and notable newcomer. So Theo got his stardom back. This is very exciting. He only made $160. So how did he get a star and we didn't? I'm so confused right now because are we? So we're a one star celebrity and what is, oh, he almost got one star. But I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode here, you guys. They are finally back on the road to fame. They are back in track and apparently Theo is in love. Surprisingly, I really wasn't expecting that. And I don't know if little Theo was either, but he is very happy and very excited about his uh, budding romance with little Anna. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. You know I love to hear your thoughts. And until next time, I am going to say bye for now.